From ocean-going liners to the tiny craft that are becoming increasingly more popular these days on lakes and rivers. Most of us, at some time or other, have seen the way dinghies and motorboats are made, but few could fathom this out. Who's ever heard of building a boat with what looks like wallpaper? To confuse you a little more, that isn't paint they're slapping on. Got it yet? Well, the answer is that what could pass as sheets of paper to the layman are in fact sheets of fiberglass, which is not all that shattering when you realize that bonded together, as it is here, with a special mixture of resin and other materials, it's four times the strength of steel. Because of the very nature of its construction, this type of boat can't be mass-produced. And at this factory in Rickmansworth, Hertfordshire, it's not difficult to recapture the atmosphere of immense care and craftsmanship. Towards completion, a final layer of the coloured resin mixture completely covers the glass fibre strips. And a point of interest here, to give you an idea of its remarkable texture, each fibre is one fiftieth the size of a human hair. Later, fitted with an inboard engine, the dinghy, aptly named Satellite, is taken for a test run at Ricelip Lido. Literally as light as a feather, it can be transported and handled easily, and because of its toughness, needn't be mollycoddled. In fact, as you'll see, the designers waited for just the right day to break the ice, as it were. As a further test of their toughness and reliability, the boats were used as dodgem cars, and as far as we know, no one was drowned. Although in any case, built-in buoyancy tanks at either end would keep these craft safe even if they were three quarters full of water, as it is here. Another illustration of the progress that has been made by the boat designers of today.